<laughs> Man, we just had the storm of the century. Look at this, it's not even holding up. It's been raining pretty much 24 hours nonstop pouring. So much rain, four inches. Non-stop rain here guys, all day, all last night. It's supposed to go until tomorrow. Just coming out here to check on all the animals. It's starting to flood next door and in other places around here. Hey chickens, everyone all right? Seem to be all right. It's not so flooded right here at all. They seem to be good. We actually went to go look at a property right now, which is not the time to go, but everywhere's flooded. Bernice! You guys are all wet. Our brother chicken's in there. She seems fine. I think it was supposed to slow down later, maybe tonight. I'm hoping, because we don't we don't need any more rain. Look at this. This filled up with just rain. I've never seen it rain this much here. And it's rained here quite a bit, but not this much. Hey, pigs. You all right? You knock over your food. It looks a little muddy in here. We left the pigs out. We left, we left the pigs in there because it was just going to get too much and I didn't know. I'm just afraid that I would escape. This is our creek. I've never seen the creek that high. We still got a ways to go here. This is where I had all my mushrooms, my mushroom logs. Looks like they they went away. Quail. The quail look a little wet. I put this hay in there. Come on, guys. You need to get on this hay. Yeah, both of these are full. This one's overflowing. Usually, it does not flood here. We never get floods. Even though it rains quite a bit here, we never get this much puddles and rain. Look, it's, I got a little creek here going. That never happens. We have pretty good drainage here, so you know it's a lot of rain uh, when, it, when our creek looks like that. And we got, we got some chickens standing in some rain. The rain just stopped according to my weather app here. Yeah, the rain, it might start again in about an hour, but for the most part, it's done for today and I believe tomorrow also. Hey, chickens. Bernice, you're all wet. I'm just assessing any damage here. Any uh, dead chickens, they look fine. I don't see it too puddly up here too muddy I do got to move them but I might just wait till the morning man man I have not seen it like that ever that was crazy so much rain on the way home earlier I, we saw a bunch of cars that were almost underwater Looks like I need more wood chips, or actually dry wood chips. That's one thing I do not have is dry wood chips. So my wood chip dealer, I need to give him a call. Up on the hill where I keep them, they're all wet. I guess my biggest concern here is all the wetness in here and the puddles is that they would get a parasite. Hey quail, how you doing? You look fine. You look dry. I think this hay, straw, I think this straw helped out a lot for these guys. It, came, it gave them a higher ground to stand on because there were some puddles in here. We did lose one, not sure if that was because of the weather, but I think maybe more so because it was one of our smaller ones. 
And there was a few small ones in there that those are the ones that eventually died these last few weeks. This was definitely one of those days where you knew it was gonna rain, but just really didn't know how much it was gonna rain. Also, it's good for these type of days to have on hand dry wood chips and or straw or hay. I did not have that much hay, so I had really just enough for the quail. If we had enough, I would have threw some in with our broilers also. And that's just to lift them off the ground so they're not sitting in water. I will be getting some more straw tomorrow for sure. But the quail seem okay. They seem fairly dry now. They got one casualty there. Pigs, you know, I, th I think they kind of love the mud and the rain. We'll see how our garden does in the next few days, weeks. You know, it might be too much rain for some of them, especially the watermelons and tomatoes. We have no casualties on the broiler chickens, and they're all looking pretty good, pretty dry. Egg layers. You guys are fighters. You guys are survivors over here. Hey, Fuzzy. Yeah, homestead chickens, they don't care about the rain. The next morning, they survived, guys. They survived. They'll be happier with fresh grass. Get them off of that wet poop. I wish I could pipe in some of this rain to you guys out west, because this is too much, man. <laughs> we, stop. No more rain. Can, can, it, can we get a week break? We need to dry out here. Let's check on the baby quail here. Hey, little quail. You all right? Nobody's dead. You guys look dry. You don't have to move these guys out too often because they're so little and there's not as many of them. Uh, let's check out our new lake, guys. Our new river that we have in our property. Look at that. It died down a lot still going pretty fast um, but this is a lot of water right here there's no more water in the garden it was some puddles here and there but it actually wasn't too bad I mean there were some streams flowing down but and now it's all gone even our neighbors who have some of them pretty much lived there their whole lives have never seen this much water fall down in this area The pigs are trained to the netting. They don't want to touch this thing. So what they don't know is that it's off. Don't tell them. Don't tell them that. I need a whole lot more wood chips than this. And then I'll put this back until I bring more wood chips in. Hey pigs, we're gonna give you your minerals, your vitamins for today. 